Hello everyone, my name is Paul Stamayoi, and we're back for Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting Episode 76, Lapras. If you didn't watch the last episode, why didn't you? Want a quick recap of the software sets? 1551, it's pretty good. Anyway, this episode's topic is by me. Why do you, well, if you even care about the game, why do you like the game Digimon World Championship? Now, I personally like it because the fact that you can just uh, raise your raise these creatures, the Digimon, and uh, you can treat them like if they're like your real life pets. You can, uh, well, then again, you don't train the crap out of them, and they and they evolve into like huge gigantic things. But anyway, um, yeah, it's really cool. Cause it's a uh, it's a really cool simulation. Uh, even people who aren't in big into video games can play it, like how pe some people play apps just because they're uh, they're really really addictive. In this game, it's really really addictive. I like it because not only could you, you can choose to just catch every every single one, like uh, it's kind of like the Pokédex, but uh, the yeah just to catch every single one evolve all you can and uh, it's, it's very difficult to try every single one in that game because if you mess up at a certain uh, certain stat to get up then it's gonna get evolve into a different thing and you just gotta be really careful with that so yeah um, I would say yeah I like it because not only you can see so many different ones in the wild you can also see many just by battling and you can also, uh, I like the fact that you can just, you can have, you can train even up to six at a time if you wanted to. You just got to be very specific. Uh, you can, well, mainly you would want to stick with one stat that you want on all of them or just on certain ones. Otherwise, it'll be very difficult because uh, you got to keep monitoring them. got to make sure they're fed. got to feed them at least once a day. That's what I do. And, uh got to make sure to stock up on supplies, make sure to always have a bunch of bits uh, to be able to feed them, because if you don't feed them, then they'll eventually starve and then just disappear. Like, you'll lose them, they'll die. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it's cool, because even if they, like, they dissolve into bits, so they're like computer things, pretty much, but, um, pretty much, you those bits are slowly spread out into the world and they'll eventually make new Digimon or something else like that so yeah it's pretty awesome uh, there's a bunch of things like that and uh, it's really cool the deep story how how when you when the, when you reach a certain point in evolution like even if you unlock uh, mega DJ evolution then you can pretty much you can they'll turn to eggs and then it's like I don't think their memory is wiped away but they start out again so it's pretty much like you're starting a new game every time but you don't have to because they turn back into eggs so I think that's why what uh, people who made Digimon was going for because because if you reach a certain point you're like oh I want to restart the game so I can try new ones like you don't even have to you can um, always have them turn back into Digi eggs and even a single Digimon has most likely has multiple digi evolutions so there's a lot of a lot of things that I love about that why I like that game and uh, not only that but you can also just you can just like pet them and all that and you don't even have to make them battle but uh, well you've got to be able to make money for the uh, to feed them and all that so yeah you have to be you have to battle at some point most likely so yeah but, um, what else? Um, maybe, I, I suppose, I do love the battling as well. I love the battling. It's really cool. I love the style of the battling. You have three, up to three at a time, and, uh, in battling. And you can also just, um, either set them to support your team, uh, just special attacks or normal attacks and some of them have different natures that you can um, either if they're like there's this one called uh, coward and that's most likely 
they're not going to be attacking that much. They'll be waiting for like a chance when they're weak or something like that. So, or they'll be, uh, I guess, aggressive. Or it's, there's like a lot of different uh, personality traits. Or I guess I don't know what they're called. Maybe they're called natures, or maybe it's just I, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, I still have that game on my Kindle to this day. And I might not play it a bunch, but it's still amazing. I'll play it someday again, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, so. I'm really, because I'm doing it like like how I'm doing with Pokemon. I'm trying to try every single one, but most of them, they just go back to something I've already used. So, it's pretty difficult. And like I said, they can just, um, certain title matches will come at, like, your worst moments at the worst moment possible, like when you're just turned into a Digi-Egg, and then you can't do much because they just got turned into a Digi-Egg, but, uh, yeah. Each Digi-Egg they, they turn, they go back into, they'll get stronger, I'm pretty sure. Or at least they'll be able to possibly unlock a new Digi-Evolution, so. It's really good for that, in that case. But, yeah, so. Yeah, there's so many, so many different things I really like about that game. And, uh, it's cool because there's this one little feature. If you release a Digimon where you caught it originally, you'll see it there again. Like, even if you get, uh, release a Mega Digimon, like, I've done it before a long time ago. Like, I I had a, uh, this one called Pharaohmon, and then where I caught, where I caught it originally, I looked back there again, and it was just chilling out there. So, it's really cool that they have that little feature because if, uh, it'll remind you that if they're doing good and all that and they're not always going to be there of course there's always going to be different ones when you go back there and I'm pretty sure I was just going to show it that once and uh, you'll never see that one again let's train another one but uh, yeah it's it's really cool I really like that's why I really like that so man this this topic was pretty long I'm glad about that <laughs> so let's see what can we talk about um what do we have? What do we have to talk about? Well, I suppose I really don't I really don't know. Oh, um, if you wanted to know, there's a specific place where you actually have to buy Mega Stones in the in the game, Pokemon Y. Probably the same for Pokemon X. But anyway, so in the Stone Emporium the uh the guy the older guy that's in the group of three he is like two other people and then there's him in the middle and um i think maybe it's only between those times he tells you depends on what starter you chose from professor sycamore like the uh the generation one kanto starter so since i picked bulbasaur i he the old man he was saying like oh would you like to buy this blastoinite uh Blastoise Knight, or Blastoise Knight, or whatever. But anyway, um, it depends on how much money you have. Since I had like almost three million, three million Poke money, he was like telling me I can buy him for a hundred fifty thousand each. But when I watched Munching Oranges video, it, he had like a hundred thousand uh, money, so he probably knew about it. And I was like, I had a feeling that maybe he would change his mind about how much it would be if he saw how much money I had. So. Yeah, if if you have like a hundred thousand total, then he would only then he would only want you to to buy them for ten thousand. So it, it doesn't really matter either way. I just wanted I I can always get that money back easily, very easily. But uh, yeah. So that's a, that's what's up with that. And maybe someday I'll actually I'll actually uh, have a battle with the with my capture helper that I didn't teach TMs on. Like, that's that's every one of them except for Mile, because I taught Mile, false swipe. Or I can just not use that move. You know what? Yeah. So one time, if y'all want if y'all wanted to, I can battle you with the, my capture helpers team. Like you could be fair and have four four as well, because I currently only have four of them. But yeah, so that'd be cool. And I'll make sure to put life orbs on them and stuff, so so yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm still hoping for that, uh, that friend, that Trico 123 person, or just that Trico guy, that to, uh, actually battle, because maybe he's busy, maybe, because he hasn't been online, it said last online, like, 
like a day ago when I checked this morning, so it's like, yeah, I don't know, maybe he's just really busy or he doesn't have that much free time. But, um, yeah, eventually I'll hopefully be able to battle him, and that would be fun, so I can finally do that. And I just got to really figure out how to do that, because I still didn't look it up. Because I just, just wanted to discover it on my own whenever I do that. Or maybe I should just... Uh, yeah, you know, I'm probably going to do that. I'm just going to make sure. Even if I uh, think I could do it on my own, I'm just going to look it up anyway. So. so I'll absolutely be able to make sure this is how you exactly do it. I'll look up, uh, since I use Google, I'll just look up how to... Um, how to battle friends on your friends list in Pokemon Y, maybe, or something like that, and, uh, I'm sure I'll find a result, and, yeah, I just want to make sure I absolutely know that, because he might not have that much time, and he's like, oh, crap, I gotta go a little bit, so, I want to be able to know that beforehand without having to take a lot of time of his time, or, uh, eventually, uh, girl, boy, or female, male, or whatever that I that I battle or just be friends with eventually so that I will know how to do it every time because it doesn't show him on my friends list in the Pokemon Y game when I'm online and even offline, so I don't know. I don't know. There's probably like a secret little way. You probably do have to press the join game button when they're online. I'm guessing that's like 99% what I'm guessing is going to be a thing, or maybe it'll only show that that they're on the list, they're actually online. That might be a possibility. That might actually be true. But I'm gonna look it up either way. Either way, so don't you worry about that. Cause um, usually when I say I'm gonna look up something, I I'm like after I'm kind of hesitant, cause I cause now I realize like there's no point in actually looking it up. So I feel bad because it feels like I'm lying, but I'm not. It's just I made a mistake and all that, and I just wanted to let you all know that just just so you know I'm not lying. But um. Yeah, so, and you already know, I don't lie, you shouldn't either, because that uh, life tip I gave you in one of the previous episodes, but, um, yeah, so I'm really excited, I'm hoping I can battle uh, one of the my acquaintances that I battled a bunch with, that'd be really fun, and yes, and I even saved the battle videos for, uh, for even ones I lost against, so it's, it's uh, really nice. And I, I can save like, I, I think I have 14 in total right now, and I can get up to 100, so that means I can get 86 more if I really wanted to, so that'd be freaking awesome, and uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll definitely be getting that many eventually, because I'm going to be wanting to battle a lot, and yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's awesome because I didn't think I'd actually find anyone who would want to battle late at night. Because when I finally started one, when I finally wanted to battle, it was like at like one o'clock at night or something like that. It was crazy. It was it was really awesome. I'm glad that uh, good old Cody came along and wanted to battle. And well, I, I challenged him and he accepted. So I was like, oh, awesome. So yeah, his team was. Uh, that freaking, that Y Velta with the Oblivion, Oblivion Wing, if he didn't have that, I would so would have killed that thing such a long time ago. I killed it, of course, once, because I beat him once, but, um, yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was so crazy. But, uh, yeah, so I'm glad to find people like that, because they make it really fun, because they want to keep battling, even if, even if I lose or they lose, they still want to battle. But anyway, this will be the last one we checked for the episode, so I did a pretty good job, um, talking about certain things, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's some pretty awesome stuff. And, uh, expect that info video about Octillery, because that was the first one I, up, I made for the day, so, and yeah, I know I credited the YouTuber I watched it from. But anyway, it's pretty good. Hit it off with 1,575. That's pretty good. Anyway, bye, Lapras. I've been your host, Ponce the Mayoi, and goodbye.